Good everyone, this is Uglo Fashion and you're welcome to my channel. So today we are learning how to make this three-play gown. You can see it on my model, how lovely it is. And I mixed it with net, so it has a color. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, if you gain anything from the tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. I'll be waiting there for you. Please like and share with your friends. Thank you very for much. For this tutorial, I'm making use of this lining and this Ankara. So I'm using this for the upper bodies, the net. So now, the measurement I'll be using is from shoulder to nipple point is 11, shoulder to under bust is 14, shoulder to half length is 17.5, then the circumference of the bust is 40.5, circumference of under bust is 36, circumference of half length is 34. The length of the gown is 41, then the shoulder is 16, and the nipple to nipple is 7.5. Now I put my fabric into form, in play form. So now I need 14 inches for my lining where they play the first play. I mean the last play is going to be connected to. So for the 14 inches, I measured from my half length to the length I want where the play is going to be connected to. So my half length is 17 to 31.5, 17.5 to 31.5. That's how I come about the 14 inches. So now and at this point i must get my the circumference of the half length so now from this point to where i chalked i have 11.5 so i'm going around with 11.5 which i've already done so i will now measure the circumference here this is this is 10 inches which means the half length is 34 inches that's four divided by four will give me 8.5 then plus seam allowance so i'm making use of 1.5 seam allowance so instead of two inches so you can use 1.5 you can use two inches depends on how you want to so here i'm making use of 1.5 not two inches so now i'll go around again so now i'll go around to the down part and measure I measure it round. So now I have 25.5 here. So I'm going around 25.5. So I'll cut this out first. So now I will notch the lid. So for the first play, I will measure. I'm going to make use of the half length measurement, which I've already measured on my lining. Then the distance of the first play is going to be nine inches, which I chalked. So the nine inches I'm going to go around with that nine inches. So I'll, I'll just chalk it on my Ankara fabric where the 9 inches ends. Then I'll start from the top to where, the nine, where I marked my 9 inches. That was 20.5. So I'm going around with that. Chalk that around. So after that, I'll return my lining back on my fabric, then chalk my waistline, which I've already cut on my lining.
then I'll cut it out. Now, this is the first flay, you can see. It's just like the continuation of this. So, for the second flay, the distance between the first flay and the second flay will be like 8 inches. So, this is where the second flay is going to end. Then I'll measure another 8 inches. Which means that's where the first flay is going to end. So there is eight, 8 inches distance between the two. So, and for this second flay, I'm going to attach it on this, my lining. So, which means it's starting, you know, the first one, this we end here, but the second, the first one must cover for the second one, because it must cover the lining, so that the lining will not be showing. So now I'm going to Start my from six inches. I hope you understand what I'm trying to do here. So that if the first one is coming, the first one will end at this where the eight inches, where I took the eight inches, that's where the first one is going to end. So it's a cover up for this um the second step. So now from that from this point to where the second step is going to end, that's eleven inches, which means I need eleven inches play so let me go let me do that now so for the second play i told you i'm making use of 11 inches and it's starting from here so i placed my fab uh, my lining on my fabric so i'm going to measure from here to 11 inches from this point to 11 inches so this is my 11 inches So now I'm going around with that. So I'm starting from here. I'll go around with 11 inches. So the total I have here is 28 inches. So I'm going around with 28 inches. This is just to manage my fabric. That's why I first use the lining. So for here now, you know I'm starting my stitches from here. I'm going to sew this here. So let me measure from here to here. That's 17 inches, which means I'm going around with 17 inches. So I will remove my lining, then measure 17 inches round. So now I will add half, just the way I did for the first play, for the last play rather. So I'm going to add half to it. So I'm going to, I'll, I'm still going to cut one of these because I was only able to Fold it into two. Now, to cut my flay, the last one, I ensure I, I folded my fabric into four. Then I placed the lining I cut earlier. Since I'm going to join it to it, so I, I placed it back on, on my fabric. So now, I'll measure the remaining length I have here. You know, the half length is 17 inches. I mean, uh, 17.5. So this is the 17.5 to 41 inches. To 41. So I'm adding one inch to it. Let me adjust it a bit. I'm adding one inch to it. So I'm adding one inch to it then for joining you know i'm still going to join it to this uh, lining as well so i need like half inch the first one inch 
is for the folding. Then the remaining half inch now is to join it to this uh, remaining uh, the lining. So now I'm making use of 42.5. So I'll first go around with that 42.5. So from here to where the 42.5 end is 36. From this point, 36. So I'm going around with the 36 inches. The reason why it was initially for two, you know, I subtract, I subtracted the half length from it. So don't get confused. The 41 is for the length of the gown. So now all I need, since it's going to be joined to this part. I'm just going to talk out this flip part. I traced out the, uh, the down part of the plate, so I'm adding half to it. Sorry, I added the half initially to the down part, but this is where the half ought to be. I made a mistake the other time. So I'll still reduce that part with half inch. Okay. I'll cut it out. So now I'll measure the length from shoulder to the neck uh, to the from shoulder to the half length. That's 17.5. Then I will add my seam allowance to make 18 inches. So after measuring the 18 inches, I'll measure the nipple point. That's 11. 11 inches. The other was 14 inches. So I will rule them out. So now I'll measure the sacrifice of the shoulder, which is 18, uh, which is 16 rather. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. Then the circumference of the bust is 40.5. 40.5. 40.5 divided by 2 will give 10.25 plus seam allowance of. Sorry, I used 1.5 earlier. So seam allowance of 1.5. Then under bust is 36. 36 plus 36 divided by 4 will give me 9. Then 1.5 inch seam allowance. Then the half length is 34. 34 divided by by 4 will give 8.5. Then plus 2, uh, 1.5 inch. So, sorry, I didn't mention earlier. This is the back bodies. I'm cutting the back bodies now. So I'll connect. I will connect my lines together. So, from the shoulder point, I'll measure seven inches. That's on my arm O. Then I'll connect the shoulder to this. Then I'll rule it out. So now. From this point again, I'll measure 4.5. 4.5. Then from this point, I'll measure one inch inside. So I'll connect them together on a curve shape. Then the circumference that I have here, this is 12. I'm going to transfer it here. That's 12. Then plus one. I'm adding one so that I can have a slant shape here. This, I will do it for this as well. So now I'll cut it out. 
So now for the front bodies of these three leg gowns, I'll measure the half length, which is 17.5, then I've added one half inch to it to make 18 inches to the half for my seam allowance. So now I'll measure the nipple point is 11 inches, the other bust is 14 inches. So I will, I will rule them out. Thank you. Have a good day. Later. And after this, I'll measure the stack of sorry i'll measure the where the button is going to be so i'm making use of two inches for this yes now connect the lines as well so i make it of two inches for this so after that I measure the circumference of the shoulder. That's 16 inches divided by two will give eight inches. Then the circumference of the bust, just the way I did for the back bodies, the circumference of the bust is 10.5, I mean 40.5 divided by four, then plus 1.5 seam allowance. 36 divided by four, that's nine, plus 1.5 inches. 34, point, 34 inches divided by 4 give, give 8.5 plus 1.5 inches. So I'll connect them together. Then at this point, I'll measure 7 inches. So just the way I did for the back as well, I'll measure 4.5 here. Then I'll measure one inch here as well. I'll connect them together. So everything I have here, I'll transfer it up. That's 12 inches. I'll transfer the 12 inches up. Then add one inch to it to make the slant. Then I'll cut everything. I'll place up. my front bodies on my... I'll place my back bodies on my front body. So... I want to cut the neckline first of all i'm cutting the two together so first of all i'll measure the neckline that's 2.5 inches i'm using 2.5 inches because it has color so 2.5 inches then because i'm cutting the two together i'm going down with one inch now for the side I'm going to measure one inch and slant it to the neckline. So now I will remove the front and uh, the back bodies from the front. Then this front for the neckline, I'll still cut it down a bit. So I'm coming down with three inches. So I still maintain the 2.5 inches that I cut earlier. Then here, I'll cut half out. That's because it has color and I want it to be able to relax well. So I'm going with that half. Then for my dad, the nipple to nipple is 7.5. So 7.5 divided by 2. Then I'll add up to it. So this is where the dad is going to be. So I will notch it for both sides. So that's that for both front and back. Then 
since it's going to have button, I'm making use of here yeah, for the button hole. Now I'll transfer all this to my Ankara. This is the uh, lining, so I want to join the first plate with it. I mean the, the down one. Now I've stitched the the first lay. I mean the third one rather. I've stitched that. So for the second flay, I've chalked where it's going to be. So now I'm going to stitch it on it. You know, I explained earlier where I'm starting my second flay from. I'll just stitch my second flay on that line. Now I've stitched the two the last two flays so for the first one i'm going to stitch it on the waistline so i'm just going to run my stitches but it's after stitching the that out just the lining i'm using i've added my plastic both sides so now I'm going to stitch them together this way. I'm not using them to turn each other because I'm still going to stitch my button hole parts on it. The button holes, I cut 14 inches of the entire fabric, uh, sorry, 14.5, then by 2 inches. So, you know, I left 2 inches on my button holes the other time when I was cutting. So now, and I've added my state to the entire fabric. Now to show it, I'll start from the wrong side where the lining is, and I'll stitch the side first. Just putting it down, I'll fold this part. So you can run a garden stitches on it. That is, you put your tension on five, then just stitch. It's just to hold this side, or you can use your iron to do this. So, which means after sewing, you will still lose. You can just pull the thread and everything you you rip off. So now, I'm going to run another stitch here. So I'm still going to lose this. So now, after stitching the two, I'm going to place them on each other. Then I'll stitch this side together. I'm going to place band on it, but I'm making use of two inches because it's a small band. So at the end of the day, I'll have like 1.5 inches. So before I do that, I'll measure where it's going to stay here. So 1.5. I'm just going to stitch it on it. That's I'm checking where it's going to stay. So now, after stitching the band, this is the result. So now I want to fix my back so I can do the neckline that I said that it's color. So for the back, this is the facing. So I'm going to. So I'm going to stitch the front body, I mean the Akara on it. Sorry, I don't, I'm not going to turn this to you. I'm just going to stitch it on me because I'm still going to put color. So now for these, uh, for the front bodies, I've, I've stitched the neckline uh, on the shoulder. So now I'm placing the front body of, uh, on the back bodies just to stitch out my measurements. 
going to fix the zip by the side. So I'm using invisible zip, but before that, I want to fix the three play. So I'm going, I've so I showed you how to sew this, so I've sewn it already. I'm going to place it on the half length, it's going to be joined to the half length. So this is the half length. So for the neckline, the collar, so I measured the total circumference of the neck which is 18 you know this is still going to lap on each other so it's 18 so now i measured 18 and added my seam allowance of one inch making 20 inches of well uh, 21 on the right side and one on the left side just to fold it inside so now for the color i'm going to chop let me start from here. So I'll chop 1.5 inches, which I'm going to cuff. I'm going to start my cuff here and let it touch the 1.5, then give it a cuff shape. Sorry, I should have folded it. Then from there, I'll just chuck out this part as well. I remove not up to half here. Then I will open the middle part. So I will sew the two together. Now I've stitched the two together. Now connect it to the neckline of my gown. So I'm starting from the wrong side. I'll pin the middle together. I'll notch the middle, then pin the two together so I don't make mistake while sewing. After joining the neckline, you can see the outcome. So I've sewn my buttonholes. You can see it. Then I'll fight the arm as well. So thank you very much for watching this video to the end.